What's up guys, gals? It is I, once again, Joseph Cohen Mason aka MrGamer990 and today guys, gals, I want to review a game which was made and co-produced by 2K Games and Irrational Games that game being Bioshock Infinite now my history with Bioshock uh, came with uh, Bioshock 1 which I played on the PS3 along with Bioshock 2 and both games had a huge impact on uh, my view on games and how uh, I perceive games to be and those two games are just so phenomenal guys gals I love Bioshock 1, I love Bioshock 2 the stories on, in those games was just so powerful, so emotional and very very exciting to play through. I love those games a lot. Bioshock Infinite is a different game from Bioshock 1 and 2. It's not the same game as in like the survival horror aspect to Bioshock 1 and 2. This is more of an action adventure platformer game which I really love a lot. Now the basic plot to Bioshock Infinite follows a, uh, a like a smuggler or like a, a, a petty thug named Booker DeWitt and Booker DeWitt owes a great deal of money to his employer and his employer tells him, I quote, give us the girl and pay the debt or I think it's give us the girl and the debt is pay but Booker DeWitt owes a great deal of money to uh, his employer and he must find this girl named Elizabeth who uh, he finds way high above the uh, sky uh, high above the sky in uh, a city known as Columbia which he gets to by, uh, by a transport uh, through a lighthouse. He goes to a lighthouse, he gets transported up to Columbia, a city high above the sky and he uh, tries to find and track down Elizabeth, the girl he's looking for, who he needs to pay off his debt. And uh, Booker DeWitt finds uh, Elizabeth, he finds her and his duty is to protect her and to make sure that uh, she comes back with him safe and un un unharmed and so that he may pay off the debt and uh, that's the part of the story. But that's the basic summary of the story. I mean. The plot is much deeper than that, but this is basically the layout of what the game is about. A guy owes a great deal of money to some, uh, some, his employer, he has to get this girl, pay off his debt, and that's the end of the game. Or is it? Because, guys, girls, this game, Bioshock Infinite, <laughs> I mean, when I first played this game, guys, gals, I didn't even know what kind of game it was. I knew it was Bioshock, but I didn't know what kind of Bioshock game it was. I knew it was different from the past Bioshock games, very much different, but I had no idea at all what kind uh, of story it was going to be about. And the story of this game is uh, so, it's so like, I wouldn't say it's, a, it's as emotional as Bioshock 2 or as uh, has a great ending like Bioshock 1 which was a straightforward ending but the game, this game guys girls, Bioshock Infinite it is so much, it's just so much fun guys guys it's such a fun game, an exciting, thrilling and uh, action packed game but what makes this game so great is the uh, symbolism, the themes, the uh, allegory of uh, uh, parenthood, politics, racism, discrimination, uh, and like uh, uh, I think also xenophobia, yeah, xenophobia, and a lot of aspects to uh, this game works so well within the context of the story and. The, the two main characters of the game, uh, Booker DeWitt and Elizabeth, they work well together as a team. Booker DeWitt is your classic action hero kind of guy, voiced by Troy Baker, the always awesome Troy Baker. And Elizabeth is, uh, I don't know the actress's name, but the actress who plays Elizabeth does a great job. And Elizabeth basically helps Booker DeWitt out. She can pass you uh, items she finds on uh, the, the areas you, you go to, like money or like uh, ammunition, or she can find you some uh, some uh, some health kit or even like uh, 
these MPs, because if, if you played any games like this before, we have magic, we have like uh, abilities which requires uh, like mana, she can find you mana, uh, mana potions and she can pass it on to you. And she can help out. She can help you out a lot. She can find ammunition for you, or she can find items for you, money, or she can also like hide herself behind objects so that no one would find her as you're fighting off your enemies. She can also like uh, open these giant doors known as tears. I think it's tears or tears. I'm not sure. But Elizabeth's main ability, she's able to open uh, doors and 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 open uh, and basically tear the fabric tear the fabric through time and space and uh, yeah it's called tear she can tear through time and space using her uh, powers and she can also like uh, summon anything at her will she can summon like uh, like uh, these objects and buildings whenever she wants teleport you into a different dimension and it's so awesome guys gals and uh, you find Elizabeth, uh, as Book of the Wit, you find Elizabeth in this giant tower, which is an angel above the sky. And she's being guarded by a giant bird known as Songbird. Songbird is a character in itself, because this bird is trying to get to Elizabeth at any cost. Even it means having to kill Booker at the process of trying to find Elizabeth, because she's Elizabeth's protector and warden. Elizabeth has been kept kidnapped, she's been kept uh, like in this giant tower for a very long period of time against her will and she's been learning for all kinds of things about the outside world through books, through education and through her own uh, like knowledge and, uh, and she, gets, she gets some studying and while she's being kept in the tower as a prisoner and I love this game a lot because it's basically about like Bioshock 1 and 2 parenthood and uh, it has a lot of political and religious themes to it about like uh, redemption and uh, uh, the sins like you know the duality between good and bad and the sins and good deeds and like a lot of uh, deep uh, themes to this game this game is probably it's probably one of the deepest games I've ever played in my life one of the deepest games I've ever played in my life because it, it deals with some, seri some serious taboo subject matter which cannot be uh, talked about without having a, a, a long discussion about this game. This game will, will without question be talked about for many years to come, many years. And besides the uh, cool and very intelligent, very like thorough storytelling of the game, the game is so much fun. It's an action adventure game. It's an action adventure game which has like your your typical uh, first person shooter game as game and and some aspects are new to the game like you can shoot with a gun, you can shoot like with uh, uh, with like this grappling hook which with a grappling hook which you use to maneuver around uh, the city on these uh, like wires on uh, these like railway wires across uh, the city of Colombia like like that, you know, and you can also uh, use magic. I think not magic, but you can use like abilities like uh, electri electricity, fire, uh, wind, and uh, not wind, but uh, like I think you can use yeah, like water, water, and uh, defensive, uh, a defensive magic like that. You can also use a lot of abilities like crow and uh, what else? What else? You can also use like possession, but but essentially you're playing a, a, a an awesome badass in Book of the Wit who gets some uh, who gets a lot of help from Elizabeth, who's a badass in her own right, and you have these two characters, uh, Book of the Wit and Book of the Wit and Elizabeth, who form a very very dynamic duo who work well as a team. I love this team a lot, and uh, the game is so much fun, guys, gals. You're fighting against like many enemies in the game who can use guns. You're fighting some ghosts. You're fighting like some monsters. You're fighting like these robots known as patriots. And you're fighting like this giant, big ass gorilla guy who is so huge and he can crush you with just one hand. And uh, this game, guys, girls, is 
in some parts a horror game. It's not like you know Bioshock 1 and 2 where it's a horror game throughout. No, there are some parts of this game, some areas that, that go back to the roots of Bioshock which is a survival horror game. And I love this game a lot because the gameplay is phenomenal. The story is <laughs> impeccable. But at its heart, this game is probably one of the rarest game I've played ever. One of the rarest game ever because it not only manages to be fun or like be incredibly intelligent in its story, but it manages to be its own game. Bioshock Infinite is not like Bioshock 1 and 2. It's a different game. It's, a, it's like its own standalone game. I love this game so much. It's really awesome. Now the ending. No spoilers. No spoilers at all. But the ending to Bioshock Infinite, it's... Uh, I was confused by the ending. I was confused by it at first. But then I'm like, hmm, this ending to Bioshock Infinite, it's actually very good. Actually, it's very it's excellent. A very good, perfect ending. But this is the kind of ending, guys, gals, in Bioshock Infinite. The ending is just the kind of ending I don't want to spoil at all. It's one of those endings where you will have this reaction like, what the hell is that? Oh my god. I'm not angry. I don't like it, I don't hate it, but it's confusing and it's very like, hmm, what is this ending? I'm not sure, like that, you know? I mean, this game, guys, Geld, is just one of the, uh, it's one of the most intellectual, very, like, uh, deep and very, like, uh, emotional games I've played in quite some time. Now, Bioshock 2 is my favorite, is like my favorite of the series. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Bioshock 2 is my favorite of the series, my absolute favorite. And then comes the, like Bioshock Infinite, and then last but not least, Bioshock 1. Now, why I favor Bioshock 2 over Bioshock Infinite is because the story of Bioshock 2 and the way it ended, it depended so much on uh, how you play the game and every action, every action does count by the end. And uh, in Bioshock Infinite, your character Book the Wit, he is not a good guy, guys, girls. He is not at all a good guy. At the same time, he's not a bad guy. He's more like a complex character who you cannot say is good or bad, but he is a human being. A human being first and foremost. He is a very flawed man. A very like a, at time a guy who can be an asshole. But Booker DeWitt is a very flawed yet tragic human being who's been through hell and back uh, during his time in the, uh, the uh, I think it was the uh, Civil War in America during like the uh, before that like, the uh, turn of the century in the 1900s, way before in the 1900s, how he fought, uh, he fought I think in Wooden Knee, I think it's called Wooden Knee, and uh, he was like a war hero, he's like a war hero who survived the war, but he killed so many people in the process, he, and 20 years later, he's been living with a consequence in his heart which he cannot hold, he cannot uh, like deal with the pressure he's under. And having to save Elizabeth and pay off his debt is a way to almost redeem himself. Once again, this game is a, a story about redemption as much as it is a story about parenthood or it's a story about like uh, uh, religion and like uh, uh, I think politics, it, it, I mean, this game is just so, it's such a layered game guys, gals. This is by far one of the most layered, heavy, heavy theme, uh, like heavy thematic and heavily uh, emotional games I've played in quite some time. Now the ending, well like I said, it's, it's, quite, it's quite some ending, I mean, it's a very good ending, I love so much. I'm still confused by what the ending was truly about, but me and my younger brother, my younger brother and I, we had, we had some discussion about the ending, and my theory is that it's not the kind of ending you can say is uh, good or bad. It's more like a, uh, an ending which can be discussed for a very, very long time, for many years to come. 
And guys, girls, the last thing I want to say is, I highly, highly recommend you play Bioshock Infinite right now. I mean, this, guy, this game, guys, girls, is such a phenomenal game, and the chemistry between uh, Booker DeWitt and uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, uh, it's such a good, it's, it's such a good chemistry between uh, such a dyna dynamic duo who I really love a lot. I love Elizabeth. I love Book of the Wit. I love even Songbird. Trust me, guys, gals, you're gonna love Songbird by the end. You're gonna love Songbird. But this game, Bioshock Infinite, it's quite an amazing game. I love so much, and uh, the ending will divide some people. The ending, the ending will divide people in so many ways, but however you view this game, whether as good, bad, or even like uh, just a phenomenal game, and I, I don't know why you can call it a bad game, because the game does have one or two nitpicks I have, one or two nitpicks, but it's not enough to call this, to not call this a great game. This game, guys, gal, is so good, no matter how many problems it has, to some people at least, it's still a great game which has a cool uh, gameplay mechanics and action. It has such a great character in Booker the Wit and uh, Elizabeth. It has such a deep story and some heavy themes and taboos it tackles. And in the end, Bar Shock Infinite is without question the second best, in my opinion, in the Bar Shock series. Bar Shock 2 is still my favorite, but Bar Shock Infinite. I can see why this game is so great and why it's so awesome. It really is awesome, guys, gals. This game will go on for many years to come to be one of the best games ever. One of the absolute best games ever because of its characters, because of its story, because of the action, because of the, uh, the, the look of the game is just beautiful, a beautiful looking game. And this game is just a pure gem, a perfect game I love so much. And as Booker DeWitt or his employee employers would say, bring us the girl and pay the debt. Or I think, oh yeah, wait, I think it's bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Yeah, bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Oh, I like that line a lot. I do like it. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, now, Bioshock Infinite, please play it. Please play Bioshock Infinite, please do. It's a great game, I love so much, and I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for listening, please like, comment, subscribe, thank you very much. Oh, one more thing, adios, amigos, and au revoir.